Alright, today guys, I'm going to show you how to use Cheat Engine. First, you go into your process, and it's this little, uh, little computer screen up here. Come down here, and you would open up, this is your process list. Screen through here. Most of these are meaningless over here. You, know, you don't even use those. In fact, if you use those, you can actually mess up your computer. You would go into the program that you have that you want to, you know, look into the codes, change the codes, and change the values. The one you want to cheat in. So, you, on right now today, we're going to be using Caravener. So, I go on the Caravener.exe and open it. Now, I was looking through the Caravener. Now it would go down here, and now it would open up a carabiner. Today we're going to be starting a new one. Uh, I don't like the stats, so I'm going to change the stats. Because I want to be godlike. So, I put these all to the same value. Now, we're going to deal with hex codes. Which, basically a hex code... In most Flash games, you just times a number that's seen by 8. So, I'll go down over here back to Cheat Engine. 5 times 8 is 40. So, type in the value up here is 40. Now, I do my first scan. Now, Cheat, en now Cheat Engine works in the process that you scan for the values, and then you would scan for a change in the values. See how it shoots up here? It has all these different values. I have no idea what these values mean. So you gotta, you know, it takes quite a few scans at times. So, open up your Adobe down here. You go back up. Back to, back to your game. And you change these values. So, put them back up to 6. Alright. So now they're at 6. Now that'll change the values. So then 6 times 8 equals 48. Then we do our next scan. Scans the values. And here we are. Now, you can change all these values. It doesn't matter because I've done this before and these are the actual codes. But if you want to further, you actually want to say get this one, this one. Just get all these. You can actually change the description of these, which I really like. Because it makes it really simple. So, we'll go to physical shape. We'll go to 5. Just change that to see which one it is. So we go back to cheat engine. And what do you know? It's this one right here. So we go to the description. That does that sometimes. I don't know why. But we'll put in physics shape. My computer is going really choppy right now. Then we can go back. Just put that back. Now we'll put these so that it makes it much faster. Actually, just put it right there. Alright, so agility is going to be 40. So let's find agility. Alright, here's agility. So we change that to agility. Now let's look for uh, 56. I forgot which one that was. Let's go back and find out. I am very forgetful at times. That is accuracy. All right. Go back here. Type in accuracy. And you go up to here, which is our intel, or intellect. Now, when you change this value, you gotta remember. 
then you've got to divide it by 8 to be the true value of what you're actually going to see in the game. So we'll go with just 8,000, because 8,000 divided by 8 is 1,000. See where that gets us. Don't worry that this actually runs much faster. This is just the video recording that is taking up my all my uh all my memory right now. Now, and we go back over here. You know, we're not gonna see these changes until we change the value again. So we go up here. Oh, so now intelligence is gonna be a thousand and one. Now I'm gonna be super fast. So we'll go down here and click play. Come on. This is getting real annoying. keep this script running. It's fine. Like I said, this video player is uh, atrocious. It's the only free one I could find that didn't bog down my computer by just a terrible amount. You know what, fuck it, let's just end it done.